Hello, and welcome to your readings for November. This month, we are going to be doing some shadow work. And I was going to spell it W-E-R-K, but then I was like, that's way too campy. Be serious, Missy. So I decided against it, even though my Leo stellium was like, girl. But here we are. This month, we're doing shadow work. I am using... I feel like the most glorious deck that I own at this point, it is the Black Tarot. I will link it down below. Look at the edging on this. It's all black. Honestly, to me, this is probably the most beautiful deck that I own. I'm shooketh. So this month, we are going to be doing shadow work as a collective on this channel. This is not something to fear. This is something to embrace. Because you are not alone in this process. It is not just you going down into the depths of despair. I could understand why somebody would say, I don't want to do shadow work. I am scared to do shadow work even. Or I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to go into those deep emotions. As somebody who is, I'm a Virgo stellium, I'm very an analytical. I like to kind of stay in the more cerebral side of things myself. I will say that yes, shadow work can feel intimidating. But let me tell you that shadow work works. And so I want to help us to the best of my ability with my guides and with the help of Hecate, Lilith, the Morgan. We're going to go deeper into the shadow work this month. Now, I'm going to give you an example of what I believe shadow work to be. And this is from my personal life. This dress that I'm wearing, I wore to my younger brother Mitch's funeral. <laughs> Can you see my eye? This is my brother Mitch. He was only 26 when he passed away in April of this year. So for me, shadow work is not just like inner child healing for example. It's now healing. It's grief. It's loss. It's dealing with our insecurities, with the shadow of ourselves, the things that are hidden from even us. Maybe we keep having these patterns happening in our lives. We keep dating the same sorts of people or we keep getting in the same sorts of situations and we see a pattern and we see a cycle but we don't know how to break it. And let me tell you, if you feel alone, you know who's the gal for you? Lilith. Lilith, people misunderstand Lilith. Lilith is a mother. Lilith is the type of deity that will never shame you. If you are in a club over a toilet, throwing up, you're alone, you're in a dark spiral in your life, you have no one to turn to, Lilith will hold back your hair as you throw up into the toilet. That is Lilith. Lilith will never shame you. If you felt like you didn't really have nurture in your life, especially from a mother figure, Lilith will be that mother for you. Lilith will hold your hand. Lilith will help you embrace the parts of yourself that you were shamed for or dehumanized for. The parts of yourself that you hide even from yourself because of shame. So we are bringing Lilith into this conversation. And she's happy to be here. We will be doing a three card spread this month as well as looking at the bottom of the deck to see any sort of background information that we need to know for the readings. 
I'm really looking forward to connecting with you guys in this way. Just know that this is a safe space, that you can trust what's happening here, that I am somebody who has, not only do I have a 12th house stellium, but for my entire life, I have lived my life more in the spiritual realm than in the physical realm. So you can trust that you are in safe hands here. My only intent with these readings is to help us to heal and help us to see ourselves so that you can understand, and me as well, who we really are that we are divinity, so that you can walk through life with a new confidence that you have never had before, that you can face your fears head on instead of running away from them, that you can embrace the shame within yourself and give yourself the comfort that was never given to you by the people that should have given it to you. And even if you grew up in a wonderful home and have wonderful friends, each and every one of us have been through things that we don't even understand. There can be things trapped in our DNA that have repeated and repeated and repeated before we were even born on this planet. And spirit wants to help dislodge those things, those blockages, so that you can have better finances, better relationships, more confidence, so that your appearance can glow that you can have this look in your eye that's just ready for life, that you can live with this childlike wonder again, that you can look at the trees and look at the sky and pick flowers in the field and not feel like it's stupid or pointless and, oh, I need to pay bills and the only things that matter in life are these 3D concerns. Of course, those things matter. And those things will be helped through this process. 11-11, make a wish. <laughs> on my alarm. Every single one of us has the right, the God-given right, to embrace who we really are in this life. Every single person on this planet is divinity. There are hidden aspects of you that are crying, begging, pleading to come out. Hidden gifts, hidden understandings. You will begin to see yourself in a new way as you allow for this shadow work to run through your veins. So, with that said, thank you all for being here, and I will see you on the readings.